<laughs> Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Oh yeah. Welcome back to the Gentleman's Den. <laughs> Kayla, yeah. Jeff, and Sean here once again yeah. for your listening pleasure and watching pleasure. Viewing pleasure. Some people like to watch. I like to watch. <laughs> Creepers. Yeah. Have you I ever was... watched? Watched what? Have you ever watched? <laughs> what am I watching? I don't know. Things. Things. <laughs> Things. All I can hear is Chewy pur- just purring. Oh, his. Pass me that uh, howler head. Oh, you're going for it? Yeah, I'm going to take one for the, uh, have a swig for the the working man. <laughs> a boy. Chewy. Chewy, this cat is aggressive tonight. He, oh, God. Oh, he's ready to go. You want for the working man? Dude? Um, No. <laughs> 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 Jeff, I salute you, but uh, I just, no, not right now. I'm done. I needed one for the no, uh, the vocal cords, you know, mm. to soothe the yeah. vocal cords. We'll kind of warm it up a little bit. Yeah. It's a little chilly in the den tonight. Yeah, there, I don't. Uh, it's not that bad down here. It feels wonderful. Earlier, it was an ice box down here. Oh, I think it feels great. God. Yeah. Damn it, Chewy. It's, it's all right. Very aggressive. So, yeah, another fun-filled episode coming your way. We're all sun, <laughs> sun I'm beat. done. Yeah. Day drinking wore me the fuck out. I don't even Not feel like we. Lie. I don't even feel like we drank that much. I oh, an empty stomach. Got well, you. that's. I think that's what did it. Yeah. It was, was we didn't eat. It was the sun. Sun. Empty Non-food. Sun. Non-food. Pulling that tarp off the pool. Yeah, that was rough. I think. But the heavy. pool's open now. It's open, babe. That's crazy. Our pool's open again. I know. It's beautiful. I can't but, wait. Which just means every Saturday there will be drunken madness. On oh, the yeah. Deck. <laughs> yeah. Every um, weekend. Yeah. Kayla, do you want to talk about our adventure yesterday? What adventure? We did our first live <laughs> podcast yesterday <laughs> in front of a studio audience. Oh, yeah. Uh, so at work, is this what you want me to talk about? Yeah. Okay. Tell the people. So it was nursing home week, so we've been doing fun things all week. Um, we had our team building Thursday. It was our like staff meeting, whatever. That was a blast. But uh, act- our activities director asked if you know we would bring all the podcast stuff, and so we did. And with, I mean, how many of the residents were there? Eight? Maybe. Yeah, eight, maybe ten. Yeah, eight to ten of the residents came in to join and... Uh, answer some questions and talk about, you know, their history with the radio. and Yeah, it was a good time. Sean was reminiscing. A lot of them were from Chicago. and Oh, God, yeah. No, seriously, I didn't really. Uh, like, I knew most of them were from Chicago, but there's some that I was like, I guess I didn't really realize, like, just how many people grew up in Chicago. Yeah. So, yeah, it was cool. Yeah. Learned a little something. <laughs> Jeff was trying to... To gauge the age, <laughs> yeah. So, so like when you guys were listening, to like War of the Worlds on the like, like, bro, that was like 1940. Well, okay, but realistically, I mean, a lot of those people, they I, seriously, like, I would say between like 1936 and, I mean, the youngest one there was probably like 65. She liked White Snake. Oh yeah, she did. She was a real peach. Let's leave it at that. Yeah, some of your residents are very nice. So. Most of them are very pleasantly confused. Yeah, it was a good and time. It was amazing. fun. I, I mean, it was a, it was a different experience for sure. I know. I was like, I don't know how these guys are going to handle this. <laughs> oh, it was fine. And like, that's my life, right? That's what I'm used to every day, all day. I was just hoping that they were going to, like, uh, you know, interact with us, which, which they did, but... Um, yeah, but yeah. like I said, they're usually, like, I mean, the crowd we had, the residents that we had there, most of them, not all of them, are usually pleasantly confused. Mm-hmm. So at one point when Sean was talking to the one about... Uh, football. Football, and you're like, I think that's... Uh, 
the coach from, you know, whatever, how many years ago? And he's like, yeah. no, it's the new coach. And I looked at Jeff and I was like, he doesn't know what day it is. I think he's confused. <laughs> but it was all right. We got through it. You did. Yeah. Yeah. The I was la- just like, I don't, this isn't going to go anywhere. We just, yes, that's the coach. <laughs> so, yeah. Just to say yes. Some of the ladies were on point. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing. Like, the residents that actually joined and were there, it was a wide variety. Yeah, it was it was fun. It yeah. was a fun experience. Yeah. I don't I don't know. I love them. I mean, I spend Monday through Friday with them, you know. We'll be back. <laughs> Maybe we haven't even listened to it yet. I don't even know if yeah, that, the that audio one, wise. That one might be just for us. Yeah, I was talking to Sean about that and I was like, it was really cool. I think it's oh god, I got cat hair all over. <laughs> it's so gross. <laughs> um it was really cool. I and you know, it was our first time and with it being at my work, I think that was just different too. So I was yeah. like, I think this well, one's just going to be for yeah. us. Also, we were on, I mean, me especially was my best behavior with the uh, language. Very yeah. Good. I mean, obviously everybody there is adults, but. It, I didn't want to go too crazy. No. You know it, was one no. Of those, it was one of those ones where it was, I felt like dealing with the elderly when they're so they're in that kind of mindset where it's you know not long yeah uh attention Towards span it's like dealing with little kids like t- attention span wise yeah in a sense in a sense it can be so you kind of dumb everything down a little bit well not it's like, not like like not dumb it down but you just like simplify it you shorten yes. it right like you have to be straight to the point you can't um over explain things or draw things out yeah and then sometimes you guys be like uh-huh yeah but it was yeah no it, and it does it gets like that because honestly i mean they don't sometimes i mean with some of them they don't know that they're confused right so yeah. to argue with them or try to correct them is pointless because all you're gonna do is frustrate them and mm-hmm. upset them so you might as well just yep no, oh, you're right. Well, that was that was the cool <laughs> thing though too, is because me knowing a little bit of Chicago radio history, like talking about Jack Brickhouse, who was like the Cubs announcer before Harry Carey, then he was the Sox announcer, and then he was no longer announcing after yeah. he retired. But then time, like <clears throat> Steve Dahl and all these like WLS from a hundred years ago from the <laughs> yeah like when you bring up disco demolition night <laughs> from when they almost burnt down the old comiskey park burning disco albums in the outfield yeah it was it was cool i like i enjoyed it but like i said that one might just be for us we might take some clips out of it because there, yeah. was, there was some good i just got to double i just need to make sure to double check with our activities director and make sure um like i said i don't think she would have brought anybody in that well, and didn't agree or, honest, you know, they're yeah. honestly, besides the video on your phone, none of them were on camera. Yeah. But just like, um, like as far as like using their names and stuff, I just oh, got to yeah. make sure that, you know, if we do use any of the clips, either <clears throat> their names and faces can't be in it, or I have to make sure that like they're, yeah, well, you know, we'll just, all, it just, okay. we'll, we'll just chalk it up as a fun experience and, uh, it, it's, it is what it is. Yeah. It's out there in the universe. Oh my. Well, what is that, sir? Uh, that would be for me to go turn the uh, vacuum off on the, uh, pool, oh, for the, for the pool. pool cleaner. But uh, I already took care of that before you started. Yeah, look at you, <laughs> ahead of the game. Yeah, I thought I'd turn this fucking thing off, but uh, apparently not. Well, you were, yeah, okay. you, were, you were taking a nice nap in the... Uh... Yeah, it's okay. I did. Took a glorious nap. I love those gravity chairs. Until you don't have a gravity chair, my lord, you're missing out. Until the hummingbird-sized mosquitoes came out. Oh, I know. Why are they out already? I saw a couple of bats. First bats of the year I've seen, which was neat. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, they just keep eating up the mosquitoes. I don't think they can eat that many. Oh, there was. They were definitely full. <laughs> well, I feel like with all the rain we've had too, the mosquitoes yeah. are just that much worse. Yeah, which kind of makes me hope for a drought. <laughs> To be honest, a little bit, a little bit of yeah, because I'm my legs right now. Do I know it gets bad? Are destroyed. Just eat I up. wonder though if we just get some. They have like yard spray for mosquitoes. I'm not saying it would work the greatest. We have we the still fogger have to, still too. We have the pond and the pool, yeah. and between those two things. I wonder how good that fogger works. I mean, we use it. Does it work? I don't know. It usually 
does pretty decent good, right? For an hour like or so, <laughs> then you gotta do it again. <laughs> yeah, that's better than nothing, I guess. But it is also May in Wisconsin, so we could have a frost <laughs> next week. Next you never week. know. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't mind it because it hopefully it would kill off most of the mosquitoes. Yeah, no, they'll be back. It's Wisconsin. They're not, they're not going anywhere. Where's the cicadas? Are they here yet? Not yet. I think that's uh, mid June. They're supposed yeah. to start. Or they're supposed to be bad this year. Yeah, two different uh, species of cicadas. So. But they don't yeah. hurt. They don't hurt anything. They're just loud and obnoxious. Well, I know. Yeah. yeah. They just. But then I was reading that like when they um, die, they actually are really really good for the soil. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Well, some can lay on my patchy backyard. Ah, <laughs> uh, I know. We need to do something with that. It's yard work. It's everyone. It's it sucks. It's so bad. Everybody does yard work. I don't know. I, does anyone like enjoy it? I can't stand it. No, I, I want to pay somebody to come work. and do it. I hate it. I got rocks. We got those rocks. We need to get rid of. Hey, uh, if anybody Let's wants some it. special edition, oh, gentleman's den rocks. <laughs> Some river <laughs> slash landscaping rock. Yeah. For I'll the put love of God, we have so too. much. Bring a five gallon bucket over. We'll fill it up and we'll autograph your five gallon bucket yeah. full of rocks. But also, please bring more than one. Yeah, bring we 10. A, we had a lady come the other day for rocks and she literally had her own stool and she was out there for a long time. Bless her little soul. She, she messaged me wanting, she's coming back on Monday. And That's I was cool, like, though. you can't even tell she went through, <laughs> through the rocks. She was one only, by one. She was only getting certain rocks then. Oh. She only wanted a certain rock for Apparently. Her. Yeah. I mean, thankfully, Maybe. I mean, she took some, but I don't think she took very many. Maybe they're special limited edition rocks. <laughs> I don't know. Well, and then she brought up, she's like, your husband said that some of the rocks up front maybe you might be willing to get rid of. And I said, sweetheart, all the rocks I'm willing to get yeah, rid of. Go get them. Take them all. Except for the boulder. Except for yeah, Dwayne. Yeah, don't touch Dwayne. No <laughs> one touches <Jesus>. my... <laughs> Dwayne almost took me out when you guys were moving in. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, Dwayne. Moving that refrigerator down here. Almost got you. I caught Dwayne on the way through. <laughs> oh. I was like, ooh, oh. Oh, mama. Oh, my God. Uh, Welcome back into the cat cafe. These cats. And drink to the butthole. There you go. Cheers. There's cat hair on here. But otherwise, how was everybody's week? Everybody Um, have a good week? Yeah, it was good. It was good. Jeff Mm -hmm. got a little bit of news on the job front, which is kind of cool. Yeah, so hopefully, fingers crossed, next week I'll uh, I'll have a job. Then it'll be my turn (laughs) for a hiatus. Oh, Kayla. Get real. And then Jeff finished off a pair my other pair of shoes, which I didn't expect. Which was a Oh, I love them. Very nice, very nice surprise. You're welcome. Thank you. They're awesome. Go to Kicks and Bears. Canvas on Instagram. Bears. And YouTube. And YouTube. I'm pumped for the Bears season, bro. Yes. For first time in a long time. I don't get excited. Anymore. Unless Kayla takes her shirt off, that's about that's about it. <laughs> Football, Jesus. you know, not too much the past couple of years. I'm just riding it, you know. This is fucking depressing. A little bit. The life of the bear fan. Oh wait, you know what we watched the other day? Guys. We watched the roast of uh, Tom Brady. Tom yes. Brady, yeah, long. Holy shit, though, so good. Very yeah. long. So good. Openly, will admit, I told the Jeff. I said, "Who the fuck signs up for this?" I would. When Netflix offers you twenty five million dollars nope, to do it, nope. I, I'm in. Go ahead. Huh. I would. Nope. I don't. I can openly admit I would not be okay. Someone said if someone offered me twenty five twenty five million dollars to bash my wife for three out my ex wife for three hours, I'd be like, okay. <laughs> There's a lot of Giselle shit in there. I know. Well, and that's the thing, like. The, I don't know. I feel like the roast was, oh, they roasted God. so many people. Kevin Hart just coming out saying, <laughs> with the, you got your wife stole from you by a karate man. <laughs> a karate, you can't even kick oh. his ass. It's the worst thing. I you love can. Kevin Hart, yeah. man. Taking classes six times a day, she's still a white belt. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, Kevin Hart is too funny. You nasty shit. Stop it. Hey, uh, we're on camera here. These cats. Oh I like cats. God. We're never getting any more. No, we're done. We're He's... not cat people. No, I like them. I think they're cute. Yeah, they're, I'm just allergic to them okay. and can't love on them. And oh, like when I see a cat, I'm like, oh, there's a cat. I'm not like, I got to pet that fucking thing. No. Like, oh, there's a cat. I want to pet them, but I know I can't unless I can wash my Some hands. Some people right get away. really excited for cats. Yeah. Not me. I know a few. Yeah. The only cat I really want to pet is a sphinx cat. Sphinx cat? The hairless. Oh, yeah. Oh. Fucking water softener. Uh oh. Oh, no. Now we got a ting. No. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. That's not. Know. It's gone. We're good. Nope. It's just the extra water. This is what happens good. when you, you know, you're going, uh, you're raw dogging it down in a basement. <laughs> yeah. One day we'll have a nice studio and we won't have to worry about it. Until yeah. then, this is it, guys. So go tell your friends to tell their friends that we could be friends. Yeah, do this every weekend. Shit, we could do this every weekend. (laughs) Not for that. All right. Is that all right with you? Who is your favorite roaster? Uh, The the Tony Hinchcliffe just... I love Tony Hinchcliffe just because of Kill Tony, though. Dude, Tony was... He killed it. Dude, the the Burt Kreischer joke made me laugh so hard. Out of all of... Out of all the... (laughs) Besides Nikki Glazer's... Gronk, me know that not real money. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Hinchcliffe saying the <laughs> the King Burt Kreischer is if Tiger King and Liver King only ate Burger <laughs> King had a liver like Martin Luther King and got beat like Ron, that got beat like Rodney King was one of the best oh. jokes I've heard in a very long time. Dude, he seriously like I think I was dying laughing the entire time. Yeah, like he was. Oh, like was even the, even the football players were, threw some zingers in there that were good. Yeah, Ju- Julian Edelman was on fire that whole. Yeah, day. he was really good. My favorite thing was like when Kevin Hart's like, "What's up with these white boys and these dick jokes?" Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you'll talk- never catch any of us over here talking about dick jokes. There's no, no dick jokes. <laughs> Nikki, Nikki Glazer saying she would shoot her boyfriend of 10 years in the face for a oh lottery ticket. Oh, my God. To yeah. possibly get the chance to suck Tom Brady's yeah. dick was fucking <laughs> funny. As that hell. was hilarious. My other favorite thing was when Kevin Hart was talking, he'd be like, fuck you, Tom. <laughs> fuck you, Tom. <laughs> fuck you, Tom. And, yeah, it was, it was, it was good to see old school humor. Where yes, there was it wasn't everybody wasn't on guard or worried about getting canceled. Oh yeah, nobody held back anyway. No, and we needed that. We needed that roast more than most people realize, because of the vocal minority canceling everybody. You know, I was showing these guys a video I saw of a why didn't we cancel Dave Mustaine and Megadeth and Metallica oh, yeah. for what they said about Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain. And because we don't care. It's their opinion. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry. I love Nirvana. But the Dave, Dave Mustaine saying Kurt Cobain had good aim is funny. It's a funny joke. <clears throat> like, you can't take everything so goddamn seriously. Yeah. And unfortunately... Mm-hmm. Every generation that's younger than us, present company excluded, Kayla's, yes, Kayla is d- a different generation than Kayla. me and Jeff. But, oh <laughs> but Kayla's humor is definitely more our generation because she could take a joke and she could dish out flames. It's so funny you're saying that because Jeff and I were just talking when we were at the bar earlier. Yeah. Were we? Yeah, at George's. And I was like, my problem is, I was like, I can, <clears throat> I don't mind somebody talking shit. And I will yeah. very easily and gladly talk shit right back. And we can go back and forth and banter. Yeah. But at some point when I go home, I'm like, God damn. <laughs> I'm a well, little sad. Well, yeah. You, you, 
It's one of but those, in the moment, I'm it's one of those fuck one, you. It's one of those ones where you take the shot to the ego, and you're just like, mm. But like, I'm not going to stung a little bit, but it's not like, oh my god, my week is ruined yeah, from your no. one fucking no. joke. No, because it's a joke, it's, right? Like, and I, that's what I, I feel like. I hate that the most. Like, nobody can joke anymore. Oh, it's coming back. Bring it back. I, I really so. hope it is. I I cannot stand the cancel culture bullshit. <laughs> Dickhead. I really cannot. I cannot. I don't understand when people are like, oh, why don't you guys cancel Eminem when he said he was going to tie her to the bed and set the house on fire? It's a fucking song. I don't know. He didn't do it. So what's yeah, the it, matter? It hasn't been done. You cannot tell me that you have never been in your car behind a guy driving 10 miles an hour underneath the speed limit and just in your mind want to slam your car into the back of his car, push him off the road at the nearest cliff. What? Everybody has intrusive thoughts. Psychopaths let them win. Yes. Normal <laughs> humans think them, have them, don't act on them. Chuckle to yourself about it. <laughs> Go on with your day. Have you seen those TikTok? It's the TikTok twins. Oh, God, I don't know their names. TikTok it's two girls. Twins. It's two girls. And so there's one where like. And twins. Talking about her intrusive thoughts. And so she's like with her boyfriend and her twin acts as like her intrusive thought and they're in the kitchen and she's got a knife and she goes like at the husband yeah and then she's like no and she goes yeah just a little but she didn't do it the ones it's just funny she thought it she thought it she didn't do it the ones that i get a chuckle out of now are we're so and so and we do this this and this and the there's always one person that's like yeah, I'm a slut and i like it's like no we're not saying no no (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you know, just weird when the weirder the comedy for some reason I enjoy just the weirder the joke like if it's a filthy dirty joke and someone else is like ew you can't say that sure you can yeah, yeah you you're gonna get, say anything you can say whatever you want you're gonna get looked at funny but yeah yeah, yeah. no I'm not gonna cancel anybody for a joke no how are sluts doing these days they're killing it dude Boy, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. Watching that clips from that uh, whatever podcast where it's the, like, OnlyFans models just getting completely destroyed. Yeah. By, because it's like they'll either have, like, an ultra feminist on Um, or, and they just get completely just, uh, all their theories get kicked in the ass. And And then you see, you just see the defeat in their face because they've been programmed to think that's what that, I was told by this person that this is how I should think, so this is the way I'm going to think. I would love to have an ultra-feminist <clears throat> come on this oh, podcast. No, uh, because no. I would get punched so hard by a blue hair. <laughs> no, I would love it. I, I want to sit down and have a solid conversation I would with love for you to have a conversation with an ultra-feminist. Because they fucked a lot of stuff a up conversation, for us. though. See, and the, and the Not thing a is, screaming match. And... and no one I haven't will... screamed at anybody in a long time besides my kids. <laughs> no, you, you had one upstairs really pushing your buttons today. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, she's good at that. But it was it was like I said for that roast. It was good to see like an old school dirty joke humor. It was so just good. Kick it, just and they all laughed about it. Yeah, everybody was laughing about it because they knew it was jokes. It wasn't malicious. It wasn't. <clears throat> You know, it's not like they were doxing people. Oh, this is where this person lives. Shut up. <laughs> like, the, you saw the kicker for the Chiefs, Harrison Bucker, came out, and who is ultra uh, pro-life, pro, you know. Okay. And he had a speech at a college where he's like, he's like, I'm proud of you ladies for getting your degree, but you know about 85% of you are going to get married and become homemakers, and your degree means absolutely nothing. And they have a petition of like 125,000 people signed a petition for the Chiefs to cut a – Harrison Bucker is a Pro Bowl kicker, one of the best kickers I in the league. Yeah. But on the other hand, every one of his woman-sized jerseys have sold out. This last two weeks, he's had the highest jersey sale for women. Yeah. Beating out Travis Kelsey because of 
Taylor Swift. But seriously, I mean, it makes a solid ass point. Exactly. Maybe you can't say that. Well, no, you can. You can. <laughs> like, here's the thing. As a woman, like, if, if I went I went to school and I have a degree, and if you were to look at me and be like, hey, you don't, you you don't, don't need, need to work. work. Yeah. You don't need to do house. that. Take care of the house. Take care of the kids. I very gladly would be like, right all, right. all right. So my degree means shit at that point. I wasted it. You just have a really hefty loan that you're paying back. Right. But like how there's so many other women that think like that and so many other women that do that. And so he made a solid ass point. And <laughs> like say, say that you were went back to house mom. Yeah. You know, housewife. After the kids are gone, if you wanted to go back to work, you can. You have your degree. I always say I would be a I would love to be a stay at home mom again of school age children. Well, yeah, because yes, <laughs> yeah. so a housewife, school yeah. age children. Yeah, the kids are gone all day. Yeah, it's just me in this house. I think you would drive yourself insane though. If I because you're OCD cleaning OCD wise, there would be parts of the house that known as there would be a corner that would just piss you off, and you would clean it meticulously for 47 hours. Yeah, and everything would be in a different cabinet and I would just go crazy. The kitchen would get switched around every yeah. few weeks. Yep, probably. Where are the spoons? I would go nuts. Like, I, I get how, like, rich women can be, like, housewives because they get, their kids are at school or they have nannies, but their kids are at school mm-hmm. and then they have money to go out and do things all day. That'd be great. Yeah, that would be. I'd, be, I'd like <laughs> that, be too. Fabulous. Yeah. I mean, honestly, yeah, it sounds like a good time. Money in the account, food in the ca- in the cabinet. Right, yeah. but, I'd, like, if I'd I was mall. I'll walk around strapped the mall. on, yeah. I mean, I've, I've been at that. I've, I've been there. Strapped on cash. You can't do anything. Mm-hmm. You're stuck at the house all day. That wasn't any fun. What if I could just... Do everything I wanted during the day. Yeah. My kids were at school. Fuck yeah! Hell yeah! Just hop on the grom and go. So it's just yep. It's just <laughs> we're off. It's just one. Of, it's just one of those things where it's it's. Di- I understand that it's difficult for younger generations right now. I mean, even for if I was looking for a house right now, there's no way I can afford a house by myself. It yeah, is it's insane. Crazy. It's you know, there's houses that are frankly shitholes that are selling for fucking two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, it's crazy that. Who the hell's gonna buy that? Because you're gonna have to put another hundred thousand in it just to get it to where you want it to yeah. be. Yeah, sorry. No, that's fine. <sighs> cool. It's you know the election coming up too, <clears throat> so it's it's about to get very wild. Who's then, even running? Oh God, I said that out loud. Who's running? <laughs> Uh, Who's running? I'm uh, running away from this conversation. I'm uh, sorry, I don't pay I'm, attention I'm not to saying, this. I'm not. I'm not going to get political on it. It's you know. It's, no, I'm just. It's I'm Trump versus, just... It's Trump versus Biden. The rematch. Uh, oh, really? Again? That's what it's going to be. Okay, we because, don't have to go any further into it. It's because, fine. Just, well, because you know, a warm glass of milk. It's always the. It's always the Midnight. incumbent. You know, if if Biden was in like his, you know, this is like the eighth year of Biden. Then it would be whoever versus yeah. the next Republican up. Yeah. But then there's got you know, unfortunately, there's guys like Bobby Robert Kennedy Jr. who have very good views, but because he's an independent, everybody is scared shitless because it's not a Democrat or a Republican. Mm-hmm. Everybody sticks to party lines, which is the dumbest shit ever. Yeah. Yeah. Because which one's the which one's the depressing button? <laughs> This is, but it's, but it's, this is the reality. It's re, unfortunately, it's, it's un, yeah, it's unfortunate because <clears throat> the news sources are all paid off by higher companies. Wait, that, they are that want all their <laughs> what that want their narratives pushed. This is the first time hearing yeah, this of is this. Crazy, Sean. Yeah, I know, I right? just can't dropping bombs it. over here. No, this, but this is how this has been my view. Growing up, this was my. That's how to watch the news. Yeah, no, I don't. Like, no news. In this I house. have never trusted the news. 
Even when I was, <laughs> even before the internet. Ooh, oh, look at me. I'm a Gen Xer. I'm before the internet. But growing up, we didn't trust anybody. Anything on TV you saw in the news, if unless it was, you know, 14 dead from gunmen. Yeah. Any political side of it, you're like, no, nah, that's bullshit. <laughs> I ain't believe in none of that. Yeah. I didn't really want to get into politics at all. I just, I honestly didn't know who's I'm running because I know we're coming up again here. So, yeah, Trump, Hopefully Biden, here we go. Oh, Round for two. Love of Jesus. Can't wait for the debates. I'm just going to buy those stupid big red shoes and live on a what? little island by myself. Those boots? And the Astro Boy boots. And make weird TikToks. Like I don't get those shoes, those boots. Well, people wear those in public. Well, about, they, yes, D- Jeffrey, there's so much stupid uh, shit that people do. But guess what? Our, my generation, there was people with blue hair and a bunch of facial piercings. And What's wrong with all that? But they, did, they stuck to themselves and enjoyed their lives being weirdos. Mm-hmm. But you can't call people weirdos anymore because you didn't hurt my feelings. Oh, Shut up. They're weird. They're weird. We're all weird. It, it, get a helmet because it's only going to get worse. Oh no. oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Speaking it's right. of worse. It's back. <laughs> it's back. You know, okay. I didn't mean to go on this rant, but it's just, it, oh, it, it's it, gets, it gets tiring when you hear the same bullshit over and over and over again. You know, I thought, you know, oh, I, I feel like I'm a woman, so I can use the woman's bathroom. No, you can't. Because, I'm sorry, 80% of you are creeps that just want to go into a weird ba- a woman's bathroom and listen to girls pee. Oh, no, not really? that. That's I don't know, man. Small percentage. I, You know what I think? But they're out there. Freaks yeah. are out there. At this point, just make singles bathrooms. You know what I mean? Like only one person can go in or you and your friend, whatever. Oh, man, that'd be tough at football games. <laughs> I know, but like I, I mean, seriously, just to solve the problem, just a uh, single stalled bathroom. Later, huh? He is purring up a storm, man. It's fucking all about you. Pepe Le Pew. It's heavy. Pepe, bounce. <laughs> this, cat. this cat is hilarious. Oh, so yeah. What else happened? Yep. What did happen this week? Uh, we watched. The we roast. Watch? We watched the roast. I don't know. We did yeah. a lot of fun stuff at work this. For week. the audio, that is audio listeners only. That is not Kayla. That is the cat. Wow. That's like. Do I normally purr kitten. pretty heavy? You're a heavy purr. <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> Real throaty in the purr. purring. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. No. We just had the. Uh, just trying to think of what what went down. What's 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 on the game plan? What did we do this week? Oh, well, we did the uh, thing yesterday. The boys they had their band concert. Uh huh. Their spring band concert that lasted three hours. Oh, that was rough. That was really rough. They had like a whole presentation. So, it, it, high school band though. So you figure we? <laughs> why didn't we think about this? Uh, it's the seniors' last band performance. <laughs> Yeah, that's so all of the medals and announcements, everything is just drawn right I guess. out. I wasn't in band, I was in sports, so then you had a sports banquet. Yeah. And that's where you did the medals and mm-hmm. the fucking letters, the letters. and yeah. all that shit. Yep. When I was in school, we didn't get letters for band. We got grades. It no, was but a credit. You had to have gotten letters. No. We did not get Even letters. Even my stepmother got only, letters. Only sports. Got letters. Even my stepmother got letters, though. She had a letterman's jacket, I thought, with the uh, Well, I, yeah, I know stuff. when I went to high school, they you got a letter for band. And she's older than you are. They Not when I was in school. We didn't get letters. I would have had a letter and yeah. a bunch of pins and all that BS, but nah. Nah, <sighs> son. I didn't have letters. I got grades. Did you get a... I got so credits. you didn't get a letterman's jacket? No. I feel like I gotta ask my sisters because they. I didn't, they went I didn't to get a class ring either. Burlington. I'm glad because it'd be in some, f- probably. Class rings are so fucking stupid. My, cl- my class <laughs> ring. Full disclosure, my class ring. I have no idea where it's at. Yeah, right, I like think a why? lot of people have no idea like where why? their class ring is at. 
I got a necklace. I still have the necklace. It's the ugliest fucking necklace ever, but I have it. I would I would legitimately have to go through everything in my closet and hope it's in there. Well, let's do it. Yeah. We yeah. should do a live podcast. Yes. Well, going where through we sh- dig through your closet. Going through his closet. Nope. Going you're gonna through see, you're, closet. you're gonna see all the <laughs> There's gonna be so much weird shit in there. <laughs> I'm terrified. Well, I'm excited. I'm pretty sure Let's I have. Do uh, it. I'm pretty sure I have a, a duffel bag full of Lay's from when the DJ company. Yeah. When I got that, I got a case of Lay's for like twenty bucks. You still have it? I may. I don't know. In your closet? Dude, I don't go. My closet. I have once. I have a double closet. Let's do it. And the one side of my closet. <laughs> Let's clean this thing. <laughs> the one side you of my know, closet. She's a cleaner. All. Um, I'm gonna take a high My suits and all my. You know, clothes that I hang up. Yeah. And the other side is like a, a baseball card collection, a bunch of albums, and then a bunch of random shit that I can go through. Like I have Woodstock 99 sealed Pepsi cans still. Oh, shit. Yeah. Listen, my boss will not be excited, and I love her dearly. She will not be excited, but I'm going to have to go on like a two week hiatus when Jeff starts working. And we're going through your clothes. I ain't letting you in there. Oh, we're doing not You're not going to let me in there, but guess who will? Uh, no, because I got locks. Mama! <laughs> I got locks and shit on the doors. You'll be... You guys Don't be doubt me. Oh, we'll get in there. Don't we'll you in that doubt me. Glass. But, no, it's, you're telling me I can't, which no, means I, I'm going to. No, you, you can, but you're going to be in there for about three minutes and be like, I'm fucking out of here. <laughs> I'm running. What are you I'm doing with those I'm going to put on my Pepsis? hazmat suit. I just kept the cans Cold because in. I thought they, you know, a collective. Worth something, yeah. And it's... It's it's a cool can. It's a white Pepsi can with Have the Woodstock. Have you looked to see if it's worth anything? They ain't worth shit. And it's, They're still in the closet, though. Well, it's I don't go in there, so it's just sitting in the shelf. I'm putting on the hazmat suit and I'm going in. This is gonna be fun. You're missing fingers. Why? I got ninja weapons. In there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Like a weapon. dojo. I don't have ninja weapons in there. But I do. I thought you were going to send Rico after me or something. You said I have to punt it. Punt little Rico. Rico's an asshole. Yeah, he's a cunty dog. Oh, yeah, sure. but only to people that he don't, he, not to the oh. family. Huh. Not to the family, but everybody <laughs> else can, will get. A, yeah, I had one of those. Oh. Oh. What's the happening? Running. The Listerine strip kicked in on Jeff. It's head. It's cleaning out his sinuses. <laughs> um, and next week we have a party here. <coughs> yeah, mm-hmm. a '90s theme or is it '80s? '80s. So 80s. we may be uh, doing a earlier podcast that week. I feel like we need to do. We it have like to do Friday. Friday, yeah, because yeah. Saturday I'm going to be too hammered. Yeah, after being outside all day in the pool. Oh, it's going to be bad. I barely made this one. <laughs> Not going to lie, I want to be we, sleeping. Can we you imagine my, if he uh, went to bed and it was right just now. you and I down here? I'll leave you to, I'll shit. leave you guys to it. It's. I think it'd still be a good podcast. <laughs> I feel I like it'd be good. Right. We'd probably get depressing and then... Yeah, yeah. you got to break you guys up from and and politics and fucking... Oh, boy, yeah. your weapon talk. All of the... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so at work we did our uh team building meeting thursday well yeah. it's like our mandatory staff meeting but we did team building and we had you know our headless cow uh pinata yeah it didn't it wasn't actually headless but it looked headless because it was just a it cheap like little thing its head was just jammed oh it's into its so body. funny um but one of the girls hit it and broke the pinata stick right in half and what so kind of stick were you using a pinata stick, you know, like a broom handle. No, like uh, seriously, it's like a pinata stick. Like it's like decorated. That's what it said at the store when you buy it. Pinata I don't know. stick. I didn't buy it, but yeah. Or did someone decorate oh, a it's, stick? It's basically a wooden dowel with uh, yes. streamers on it. Yeah. yeah. Um. Like so one of the girls the hit the pinata and it broke the stick in half. Well, then what'd you do? Well, then one of the other. They got violent. One of my it. other coworkers grabbed it and was like, <laughs> "It's nunchucks." <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're talking about ninja ninja weapons made me think of the nunchucks. How did the rest of that party go, Kayla? You want to tell us about the uh, old tug of war? Oh my god! <laughs> so we wanted to play tug of war, and the maintenance director had a great idea to play it over. He said over the gully. 
Now there's a big ass ditch outside of work and it would have been hilarious. However, clearly can't do that. So talking about playing tug of war, everybody was kind of worried about if anybody got hurt in the company and blah, 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 whatever. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is so fucking stupid. Why can't we play tug of war? So a couple of the girls um, really wanted to play tug of war. I think you guys have a lot of uh, built up hostility towards each other in there that you were trying to take out. Oh no, for sure. There's, I, I will not get into it um, at all. I always say that I like, I prefer to work with dudes because I know where I stand with dudes. Like if I piss somebody, like if I piss a dude off, they're going to tell me I piss them off. Yeah. They're going to tell me I'm being a bitch and like yeah. we move on. Right? Instead of holding it in and yeah. so, letting but, it fester. You know, like working with a bunch of, it, it, it gets bad sometimes. Anyways, we were trying to improve things this week. And, Team uh, building, God damn it. Yeah. So I said, fuck it. We're going to play tug of war. No. And so we're talking about how we can do this. And I was like, well, we could tie sheets together, right? Which would have been smarter than what actually happened. Uh, wow. Yes. 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 <laughs> um, and so then somebody said, use um, zip, ties. zip ties. And so we're like, her to keep them. <laughs> Listen. Okay. I Once am again. not. How many males do you work with in this place? Um, maybe five, max. Okay, that's all. I need maybe. To okay. Um. So we took the sheets and we zip tied them together. Okay. Instead of just tying them in a knot, which would have held perfectly fine. And as you pull, it, it tightens got, the got knot. <laughs> Yes, Kay. and you wouldn't have been able to get the sheets. But apart, I wouldn't but... have the story. Kay. Exactly. All right. So here we are. Let's get zip tied three fucking sheets together, and so we all line up and realize that three sheets is not long enough. But <laughs> <laughs> considering what happened, it's okay. Um, so we go to tug, and one sheet comes completely undone. Everybody's okay. Everybody's still standing. We're dying laughing about this, and so we decide that we're gonna do. Um, nurses against CNAs. This was the CNAs idea. So we're like, okay, that's fine. We'll do it. So we grab the two sheets. Yeah. We line up. Everybody grabs that. <laughs> and we're pulling. <laughs> we're playing tug of war and it's going great. Until, of course, the sheets slip oh, right no. through the zip tie. And everybody goes... <laughs> Flying. <laughs> now only three of us busted our shits. One of my CNAs and one of my nurses. So the three of us fall. And me and um, one of my other nurses, we fall <laughs> together. And I almost pissed my pants laughing. It was so funny. I have a bruise here because I don't, I don't know. Like it must have been from like them holding it behind me. Like the whole mm -hmm. sheet must have just like slid right the fuck through. But there's the most hilarious picture. Oh yeah. On Facebook. That they golden. post it. And it looks like I am doing like a, like I'm about to karate kick somebody in the fucking throat <laughs> because it was so right when it let loose. <laughs> mark this point. So you can put the picture up. Mark it. I got it. Oh my God. Hang on. I do have to show you. Because it's so fucking funny. I haven't played tug of war probably since grade school. My shoulders would blow Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't. It was so good. There's certain things I'm pretty good at. There's some things that just take a weird strength. Like, I was never good at arm wrestling, ever. No. Like, some people are just phenomenal at it. Some people just have the, the throw bales of hay strength. It's Pretty fucking crazy. <laughs> you look like you're doing like the crane pose. Yes. <laughs> the karate kid <laughs> on the boulder yeah. on, or the whatever. She looks like. The, <laughs> let me see it again. Kayla, <laughs> Kayla oh looks like God. if you've ever seen the flame dancer logo from uh, Dave Matthews oh. band, that's the pose that Kayla's in in this picture. But I, I said it looks like she's in a fucking mosh pit. It's so funny because I actually don't even. Re oh no, that's it. 
That wasn't because we stole kitchen staff to help us because there was only like four of us compared to the handful of My CNAs Lord. we had. Lord, Kayla, what's going on over there? Oh, it was so funny. But That's everybody, good though. No, was it a good every, time? Yes. Team building? Everybody had a blast. Everyone and everybody got along talked for about a little it bit afterwards. So in the restaurant, I used to do team building too. Every Thursday, we would load the Durango up and go to the titty bar. <laughs> that <laughs> sounds like a great and that time was team as well. Building. Team building, team building. It, I used to call it Thursday night team building. I know I have such a problem, like, because like I'm in a uh, a management position, which is weird because I don't. <laughs> you don't feel like you're a manager. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't feel like I'm great at it. Um, because like I just. I like to talk shit like, like, but like funny, like I like to you banter. Like to cr- you like to crack yeah. jokes and yes, well, I like bust to, balls. Good thing your sister's the head of HR. But she's not, she's not the head of HR. Oh. Um, she just is our business office manager. So she's not HR, which is what I laugh about. Cause I'm like, people think that. And I'm like, no, she's, she's like, not. I mean, she makes sure that all the staples are there. <laughs> My stapler. <laughs> the swin line stapler. No, there's like definitely staples. people that people could report me to, but it's hard because I was the floor nurse with everybody. And so like we had a relationship and like Yeah. And now I'm like manager, so it's it's hard <sighs> sometimes. And I just want to be able to banter and I joke all the time. I'm like, y'all are gonna end up reporting me one day and I'm gonna one lose day. my job because they're probably this. just saving receipts. <laughs> well, that, cash them in one well, day. Well, some of them are like like they just talk shit and like and like funny like they banter yeah. talk shit and like they'll flip me off and I'm like oh. But, but you know what though? <laughs> you also have a good group of ladies that you work with. I do. I love. You know, it's it's crazy because I I it's a bunch of women which we spend more time with each other than we spend with our own damn families. Um, so it just it gets hard. Yeah, it's and everybody synced up over there. It does get, oh my God, yes. <laughs> yes, because somebody new will come in and our periods, everybody's fucked up. <sighs> Everybody. And I'm like, y'all are lucky that I can't have any more kids because I would be worried. But like not my periods like a week later because we yeah. got new girls and I'm like, God damn it. That's crazy. It's like it is weird. It's, it's like so weird, weird pac monta- like a pack. Yeah, right. It is insane because yeah, you it everybody will start to sync up. Okay. I, I saw Did that you. working in the restaurant business for as long as I did. Yeah. Like, I knew what week Mm -hmm. was going to be hell. (laughs) Well, and it's awful, right? Because, like, we're all sunk up now. All moody. And we're all moody as shit. So those weeks would be the weeks I would always come in with, like, sweets. Yep. I got stop at the grocery store and have, like, brownies in Mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Do you have an alarm on your phone? Yep. Well, well, it's one of those ones where it's like, well, it's been about three weeks and everybody's been cool. So this week everybody's going to be a full-blown asshole. Here comes yeah. the assholes. It's hard because, like, everybody's in different, like, uh, parts of their life, right? Like, it took me a yeah. long time to, um, like, self-reflect and realize that <clears throat> I'm being cunty. Um, and so now I can admit it, right? Like, I'll go into work just pissed off for absolutely no reason besides the fact that I had to wake up and go to work. Yeah. And I will be like, I'm so sorry if I'm an asshole today. I'm just crabby. It's not you. It's me. I apologize. Don't worry. Dudes have that, too, because I have weeks when I go into work and I'm just like, why the Right, but like yeah. I, I will admit this, but some, and it's just different areas of our life. You know, we're all in different parts of it. Um, some people can't self reflect and notice that, so it's hard. Yes, um, a lot of people can't <laughs> can't come to terms with the fact that they're being an asshole. Yeah, like, and so that's my thing. Like, and I always tell, I tell everybody I work with, listen, if I piss you off, please tell me I'm pissing you off. Be like, fuck you, Kayla. You're being an asshole. How come I can't say that? Because I'm married to you. You can't say that. (laughs) You can't say that. Jeff Jeff had a little bit of a a temper tantrum today, too, which was kind of funny. But but it's so funny because, like, he did and he didn't because then he was laughing inside. He was was coming outside throwing the the food on the table. And every part of me kind of giggled on the inside because I was like, this is how I feel when I got to clean the fucking house. But it was also it was also. A little bit of frustration from doing the pool and yeah, it was just a lot of shit going on all at once. Huh. I don't like to be bombarded. I don't know what that feels like. He was backed into a corner by himself. Right? Yeah. No, seriously, he backed himself 
into that corner. Yeah. And then he kept himself in that corner. And I couldn't, have, like, there was nothing I could help him with. No. It's one of those There's ones nothing. where it's nothing you can yeah. do to help him. I can't it, so set up the just, fucking shit for the pool. You uh, do yeah, that. I'm just doing it. And I did it. Yeah. And now I'm tired. <laughs> oh, he's CP. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, you know, everybody has bad days, bad weeks. But when you work with a bunch of females, mm-hmm. it's always that one week a month mm-hmm. that is, it's like hell week. Now imagine working. Oh, imagine working in healthcare, and not only do you work with a bunch of women, and you're sunk up with your periods, so you have Hell Week, <sighs> and then there's a full moon Shark Week. Because <laughs> I don't care what anybody th- fucking says. Oh, Goddamn full moon. Full moon. There's something that's, to it. That's, it that's, fucks everything. I, I agree up. with that a hundred percent. But the day you were born. Has mm. no effect on you being an asshole. No, you're just an asshole. What do you mean? Stars? Are you talking about astrology right now? Yes. Mm-hmm. Spacists, as I like to call mm-hmm. them. Oh. Not racists. Spacists. Spacists. <laughs> I'm a Libra and you're a Capricorn, so we can't be together because our signs. Are... Shut up. <laughs> that means nothing. No. Every. No. Guess what? I can read everybody's horoscope right now. What, you you're, could, what you're thinking about right now really has no no effect on what's going to happen to you further down the road. Mercury's in retrograde. Shut up! Well, I'd like to, because I've read them before, and I, I don't even, yeah, I'm an Aquarius. And I'll be like, oh, yeah, there's a lot of that. But then I'll go down the line, and I'm like, oh, oh yeah, this describes me, too. Yeah, yeah, you could read me a Gemini's, and I'd be like, that's me. Like, I want to take someone who <laughs> no, truly no, believes. <laughs> right, yeah, no, I'm the just the power a of this, and I want to put 12 of them on the table, and I pick yours. Just randomly pick, find yours. Read them all and tell me which one is We new. should do that next week. That's fine. Uh, how about we all, how about we get tarot cards and we'll do tarot card readings too. Ooh. Oh, do you remember when we were sitting at? Demons. Let's get a Ouija board. Ooh. Remember when we went to, was it Sandlot? It's the Sandlot, yeah. We had our fortune, to- which was a she a fortune teller? What was she? She was a tarot card reader. Oh my God. She was uh, she was on all the crystals. I did not want to do it because I was like, I don't, to a certain extent, I believe like spiritual shit. And like, I don't. Uh, yeah, but I don't think this lady had the key. I'll no, be no. But I, I get weirded out. Like I won't well, set up a will or anything because I believe I'm going to die then. The day I set up a will, I'm dying the next day. Like that's where my head's at. Mm. It, because every time I think like, I don't, I don't know. Anyways, so that's where I'm at. So like I get nervous for like fortune tellers and shit like that. But yeah, when we went to Sandlots and we had that lady do it, <laughs> I left and I was like, what the fuck? Did it was you so know, bad. Did you know in a past life you were Joan of Arc? Really? really? Yeah. Well, guess what? Got a cat here in my nose. Surrounded. Sorry, guys. <sighs> guess what? Mm. Chicken blood. In a, in, a, in a past life, <laughs> if you believe in past lives, we were all someone famous. What? You never know. Jeff could have been John Wilkes Booth, and I could have been Abraham what? Lincoln. What? Wow. Yeah. Well, this could end. Don't bad. take me to the theater. <laughs> <laughs> We've been to a lot of movies, and I still haven't been yeah. shot in the back of the head. So, well, it wasn't a play. Fingers crossed. Our American uh, cousin was the play, I believe. Yeah. I thought you were talking about your American cousin. <laughs> no, that was no. the name of the play that. Our American cousin. <laughs> it's wild. To, you ever dive into the similarities between like Abe Lincoln and JFK? Like the assassinations, it's just super crazy, weird. I still like Dave Chappelle's uh, when he was the president. The comments coming to the world, he was going with the alien. yes, aliens are real. This is Bibble, <laughs> and he's like, and JFK was killed by a magic bullet. Magic's real. Magic's <laughs> real. Jesus. It, you know, I love magic. I don't know. Call me a geek. That's one thing I nerd out about, maybe, is some magic. No, not a, maybe. You do. I was a big you Chris do. Angel guy. Magic and uh, the cosmos. Oh, yeah. Cosmos. Oh. But I love me some magic. Magic and some, the cosmos. Some people think it's gay, but hey. Well. Bring it on. I didn't know you were a Laker fits. fan. Yeah. <laughs> not Johnson. <laughs> not magic dicks. You know what magic stands for, right? Um, 
something with AIDS? My ass wow. got infected, coach. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> but, all right. He's like, he's got some, he doesn't even like test positive anymore. No, if it's you crazy, put enough, weird. if you put enough money into your bloodstream, it kills AIDS. <laughs> it's weird. For sure. Weird. That was a South Park episode. We were just shooting hundred dollar bills. Is he the? Fun. Is he the one with the? The son. Daughter. Yeah. Got it. I saw. I was going through. Uh, <laughs> I was going through Facebook or I don't know. Anyways, a picture popped up of them all on a yacht, and I was like, "Who's that tall bitch?" Yep, that's his son, daughter. Madge Johnson's. I mean, you seen him? He's no. a big dude. Lady. Lady. Man. Lady man. Huge. Huge lady man. Jesus. He could have went pro. For sure. Like, I think, Jordan honest man? to God. No, honest to God. Like, gotta he be. He might be bigger than his dad. Taller than you. Yeah. Like, crazy. Huge. Hey, man. Live it up. Do you, boo. Do you. Do you. Do a little magic on the court. But you know what's also crazy? I realized, you know, yes, I would like this to be a profitable podcast eventually. Yeah. But I don't want to get super rich. Because you turn weird if you get super rich. <laughs> what, like puffy? Yeah. Just making like dudes all, jerk off. Like and... all those. <laughs> like, you think about it. You, you got Jared from Subway. He was just was a crazy. fat dude that ate some sandwiches and lost a bunch of weight. He was just And then now creep, it's though. all creepy child porn. Yeah, but he was probably a creep before that, mm-hmm. though. Well, yeah. But it's. You know what I'm saying? I... But it's. Everything's I don't think easier. he was. He, he wasn't even to that level. He was rich, but he wasn't like Diddy, like yeah. these billionaires that just they probably just get bored. I showed Jeff this couple today, and I oh, was like, "Oh, make this those is... dudes fuck. Watch this." <laughs> How much money would it take? Kind of deal, right? Like just nope. to see if you can break someone. Like yeah. they probably mm-hmm. fucking love that shit. Well, watch making the band. Yeah. Jesus Christ. All the shit he went and made him made them do. They walked closed from, in the studio. They walked what twenty something miles to get a cheesecake? Why? Something. Because he wanted a cheesecake. Or yeah, otherwise go, he's shutting the studio oh, down. Oh, go fuck yourself. Shut the studio down. That's yeah, but look at it. That That's your dream. This might be your one chance to make it. Like you're no. gonna get that cheesecake. I told Jeff today, I showed him this couple and I said, This is all I want. Like this is the point i want to reach is just right here yeah and they just got side by sides yeah, that they cruising around. fuck around in all day yeah you want to you want to live comfortably and you want to have a good time and you don't want to have to go punch a clock yeah you want your clock where you can well that's everybody's everybody's yeah. fucking dream you want to be you want to live comfortably i'm cool and like i guess my and thing not is bust your ass every day well, and, like, I know owning your own business, I mean, just from, like, my dad, my grandpa, like, family experiences. I know it's not a walk in the fucking park. And normally it's harder when you own your own shit. Right, yeah. but at least, like. You're not working for the man? Yes. Yeah. At least what you're working for. Is how, yours. It's yours. Yes. It is yours yeah. that you are working for. Otherwise, like, well, I, the rest of us are busting our, like, right now we're busting our ass to support who? They don't even know who we are. One of the greatest lines ever <laughs> was when the owner pulled up in the new Lamborghini mm-hmm. and the employee was outside and he's like, wow, that's a cool car. And he's like, you know what? If you work hard, you put in the hours, I'm going to have another one next year. <laughs> 100 fucking yeah. percent. And, that yeah. is and here's pretty Domino's much pizza party. <laughs> yes. Here's oh, yep. morale's looking a little low. Better feed them. And that's, yeah. I mean, I get it. I understand it. That's also a write off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But you and know what else is a write off? Bonuses. I don't even know if you guys know that most of the time the the Domino's, the pizza don't even come from the owner of the company. No. Like personally speaking, it comes from no, it's a manager. My boss. Or, yeah. Yeah. It comes from the petty cash. No. No. This comes straight the fuck out of my boss's pocket. And when I say my boss, I mean like just my boss, not corporate, not yeah. Yeah. any of that. Like my boss's pocket. Well, you need to you need to get on it because she cares about like her employees. <laughs> or is that just trying to keep you all there? Well, I'm sure to a certain extent, like, yeah. Uh, because goddamn, if we're not, we need a pizza party. <laughs> but also, like, it, no, 
I, I cannot say anymore. Just leave it at that. Yep. It's it's not, but it is not just self serving. No, it is. no, not at all. <clears throat> I think there uh, to make morale better. There should be an airing of the grievances. Like, what is the most difficult part of your work day? Mm. Well, isn't that up. what the box is for? Don't you write your <laughs> <laughs> Don't you write your uh, concerns and then stick it in a box for them to see? But that's, the problem is, is that's just we're out of toilet paper. Put it in the box. Oh, I thought it was for everything. No, like, we do have a box now. Well, yeah, but you can you can air you can write whatever you want uh, on there. Yeah, but they're gonna read it and go, okay, who said that? And all of a sudden, you're in HR's office, and they're like, well, we can't do this for you, but this isn't coming from personal experience. Well, I think most of, the, I mean, most of the time, it's just anonymous. Like, we need to do this. We need to do this. Because, in all honesty, I eat the shit sandwich. Yeah. I've learned to like, because restaurant business for 20 years. You know who my boss was before, not the last owners, but the other owner before that. Yeah. You heard how he would speak to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I love him. I love him like family. Yeah. So I'm all right with that. Did it ever come to the point where I almost just said, but the problem is, is I give a shit. So I won't ever leave anybody high and dry. Yeah. Well, they got you by the balls. Like I just saw a uh, Instagram video where they pull up to like a fast food spot and it was like, it was a taco joint in L.A., and the guy's like, I will give you $100,000 right now to leave your job, or $20,000 right now to leave your job. And he said, I can't do that because we're short-staffed and we only got three guys here. That's basically how I feel. Like, when someone quits and goes to a different job, I'm like, I'm happy for them that they're moving on. Yeah. But I'm also pissed because I'm like, dude, you're just, you just kneecapped all of us. It's a, it, it sucks. Like I have to, um, perfect example. Some of my CNAs, they're in nursing school. So they're going on to be nurses. So yeah. I have quite a few that For are, a little bit. Mm-hmm. I have quite a few that are quitting mm-hmm. or that we know come in short term. Um, and I just had a conversation with, uh, one of the girls. Oh God, I love her. But <laughs> I said, I will never be the person that begs you to stay ever. Mm-hmm. I won't. I said, however, um, I said, I'm going to miss you. I don't want you to leave, but I I 100% understand understand if you need to do this for you and you are doing this to go for new experiences. Yeah, Selfishly, I want you to stay and I'm going to miss you, but I will never beg you to stay here. And it does make me sad. And I've had had conversations with that, with people about that. It was like, sucks you're going I'm happy for you for making that, taking that step for doing what you're doing. It sucks. I'm going to miss mm-hmm. not having you here because you were, and it's always like a reliable person. It's never the, the donkey. No, that God, leaves. no. Yeah. It's no. always, it's always the one that not so much above and beyond, but you can count on them to make sure that their job is done. Yeah. Well, and you like, don't have to worry. Of, you, they're the people you don't have to worry about. Yes. Like you give them the job. It gets done, and you know it's going to get done in a timely manner, yeah. and yep. they're on to the next one. Mm-hmm. It's the ones that don't do that are the ones that stay and make your life a living hell. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like, so that was my other thing, too. The other part of my conversation with um, with her was, I just want to make sure that you're leaving because you want to go experience things, right? You need to do this for you to, to go grow. experience. Yes, and to, to grow. grow. <clears throat> but if you're leaving because of something that is going on, or because you are overwhelmed, stressed out, whatever. Something is going on and it's something that I could possibly fix. Like, please let me know yes. because yes. I don't want the the good people to leave. The one because they're hard to find. I know the one they thing, are. The one thing I could say what's nice about where society in a whole is going is you can take a mental health day now. And you're not looked down upon about it. Like Yeah. Like I, I will be forever grateful to the company I work for because when Vli died, you know, they called me at Glenn called me at, you know, 10 o'clock at night and I was in bed I answered and I talked to him and he, you know, and I went back to sleep and I'm like, I'm going to work tomorrow. 
<clears throat> and I was on the forklift and I, it kicked in when I was at work yeah. and my supervisor was walking by and I go, Hey man, I'm having a rough day today. I need to get out of here. I'm not, I'm not going to be worth a shit today. I, yeah. one of my best friends just passed away. I'm having a really hard time not breaking down here. And he saw it in my face. Yeah. So when he was like, understandable, take off, Yeah. go, you know, do what you got to do for the day. I'm like, thank you. And, and that's be, great. And I'll be back tomorrow unless I call and say I'm not yeah. going to be back. Which I was, I <sighs> believe I was back the next day. Or it might have been on a Thursday where I didn't have to go in the next day. But I am forever grateful for society now having that as an option. No, I am not going to go to a safe space and, co- you know, color. <laughs> or pe- Well, that's the problem is people that don't need it they just or they abuse it and then they yes. ruin it for everybody mm-hmm. yes you know so in what was cool like my cat mittens on our, diarrhea yeah on, not coming in today on our on, <laughs> yeah on our, on it's our, funny <laughs> it's funny because things like that happen. on our yeah. board <laughs> on our board now they like for this month it's a me- it's like mental health awareness month so i'm like that's awesome and i've gone in to hr and i've asked about you know do we have because, yes, I work with people that may or may not have substance abuse problems, be it alcohol or anything like that. Yeah. And, you know, there's something you, as a person, as a good person, I kind of see myself as a good person. When I see someone struggling, you know, when you're coming in and you can smell the night before on them from, mm-hmm. you know, a, a far enough distance yeah. away, and that's more than once a week that's yeah. happening, you know, it's... As a as a, a society, we should you know ask those people, hey, if you need help, we do have an option for that. Instead of just being like, well, that's your problem. Yeah, right. I feel like our standards are pretty low. If it's if it's more than once once a week, it's fine. You come in just well, like, on a, like the night before. Well, like on a Monday, but when it's like you know a Wednesday. Yeah, maybe it's, you know the bears are on late. Yeah, you need, I mean, need to drink your sorrows away. But yeah, it's I I'm I am happy that some of that has become practice now. Yeah. Because everybody, I don't you could be the happiest person on earth and you know they're kind of masking something. <clears throat> there is something there that's going to trigger them, that's going to put them in a bad and I hate that word trigger, but it's it's the best way you can describe it because it something can happen. Like, dude, I got my problems. I, dude, I fully admit it. Everybody's got some shit to deal with. People just handle it differently. Some people can handle it by themselves. Other people need more need support. Help. Like, in all honesty, this is therapy for me every week. Yes, yeah. I am fully transparent when it comes to before we started doing this again i was in a rough spot mentally like i dude i never i'd come over what i used to come over every every saturday i was here mm-hmm. every weekend i was here yeah there was weekends where i wasn't there was i would go weeks without seeing you guys because i was just not in the right mindset to come out of my house yeah and i'd sit there and i'd just wallow and talk horrible to myself in my head. And I'm like, dude, I, it's, you get to a point where it's, you either figure it the fuck out and get out of your fucking head Mm -hmm. and realize talking to yourself like you're a piece of shit is the worst fucking thing you can do. Oh, yeah. You know, because if you can't love yourself, then I, I talk this to my daughter all the time. Yeah, if you, I'm like, who do you love? And she always like, oh, you and mommy. I'm like, yourself first. Always I know, say I yourself. I always feel like it, such it, a fucking hypocrite when I say that to her because there's I'm polar opposite. But it's that girl it's, loves herself, man. It's one of those ones where you gotta look in the mirror and realize you're all you got in the long, and everybody dies alone. Yeah. You can have everybody around you, but everybody dies alone. <laughs> you can have your family and friends next to you when you're in that bed and taking your last breath. That's your last breath. That's not their last breath. That's it. Game's over. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. live.
for the now. Stop stop dwelling on the future and stop dwelling on the past because the shit that shit you can't change. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just learn from it and move on. Jelly Roll said it best. That's why the windshield's bigger than the rearview mirror. Because everything's ahead of you. The shit behind you, that's the foundation of the person that you want to be. That you build off of that to be a better person. And I firmly believe that. Yeah. 100%. Yes. And then you, but then you see people that keep repeating the same dumb well, shit. Well, some people can't get out of their own way. And for whatever fault, I don't know if it's family <sighs> or, you know, yeah. uh, substance abuses or just uh, bad attitude, like you're saying, towards yeah. themselves. It's just. Uh, I will openly admit, though, it does get hard for me with people like that. Like it. When you've got all the support to get you the fuck out of it. Like, well, that's, how do you keep falling back in and well, that's, staying there? And because, I mean, my generation, you know, we're men, so we, we don't talk about our feelings. Fuck that, dude. I'll tell I, Jeff and I have had plenty of conversations. Yeah. And we're the first ones to be like, dude, I'm fucking proud of you. Yeah. For Every sure. time. You know, or, hey, you're fucking up. Pull your head out of your ass. Yeah. That's why I, this is family. This is everybody needs people like that where you could sit down and talk with when you're fucking just drowning. Yeah. Yeah. It's so the hope weak, you guys have a the weakest thing you could do is not ask for help. Yep. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, just do it, I guess. So we're in an hour, so we're gonna cut this off before I start going crazy. <laughs> I say I gotta pee, and yeah. I just got a text from the boys. Oh, the boys are at a. That's one hundred percent why we did this <laughs> at the time we did it, and at the speed we've done it. So, with that being said, check on your people. Number one. Yeah, and love yourself. Love yourself, because you can't love anybody else if you don't love the person staring back at you in the mirror. Yep. That's for Kayla. <laughs> For Jeff, I am Sean. Thank you again for watching another fun-filled episode of The Gentleman's Den. We will be back next week. And don't forget to go check out Jeff's site, my site, Kicks and Canvas, Small Town Infamous. Go check us out and uh, love y'all. Thanks for uh, rocking with us. Tell your friends. Adios. Later.